So here we are for game three of this round of 16 World Championship action. The score is tied up one apiece and uh, we are on Famil approach. Warning on the left, playing as your sources, we have Von Ivan. And in the south, we have PFC again, sporting is OKW. And um, same opening as our Kaladni Firma game, it's going for one Volk and then one Kubel. Let's get that fire pyre out. And uh, looks like uh, we're seeing a repeat of uh, game one in terms of the build order. But I think this is a much better map for Vaughn's strategy than Kaladni, so... I think it'll work out for him better if if uh, he commits to protecting his cutoff more than uh, that first game. Yeah, well, we have to wait and see. Well, I'm not deterred by it being uh, unsuccessful. You look at this right from the get-go. This cool getting super aggressive. Fine, still we see 51 out there charging at it. Doing some really good damage on there. He jumps out with the crew trying to do some damage in return. <laughs> what a funny opening to this match. WC51 takes heavy damage from the Stoom Ponies, pulls back. Good, also taking a, a little bit of a licking. This is an interesting engagement in the munitions. This is Briachalon versus Volks, and the Briachalons are holding their own. Yeah, I think a couple of those Volks mobs not fully behind cover there, it's allowing the Briachalon to perform very well. Right from right, getting flanked here, next to the cutoff. Good, good retreat time is there for Vaughn. And uh, he's got the 50 cal upgraded on one of the WC-51s significantly earlier than the last game. So things are looking good for Von. And look at this Kubel. A little bit of trouble. Huffman on the chase down. Oh my god, he gets home. Man, that was close. I think that was just like one more penetrating bullet would have done the job there. That was just a real nail biter. Pioneers, meanwhile, on the other side of the map, you are staying aggressive. Oh! He tried to oh go for the God. greed! And the rear wow. echelon catches him. Amazing pickup. Exactly what you need. And he's got his up gun out too now, so he's gonna bully these volts. No way they're gonna get Faust anytime soon, so. He just needs to be careful taking the full damage up front. His armor is not going <laughs> to yeah. help him at all. Yeah, the armor is not, not too sharp on those, but you know, that's how they're balanced. Oof. Okay, and come the cavalry rifle now for Von Ivan, getting a wee bit of a flank on these stern pyros. So pyros could be able to hold the line here with the concussive grenade. Oh, obviously 51 does some good damage. Yeah, Rafa's come out of the stun, but they have to retreat. Is Vaughn gonna go for the chase? It looks like he is. It's it's good to get it. Yeah, he can. It's got pretty good damage on the move as long as you face the right direction. Going for the chase down, Stoom Pioneer's super low. That's where the extra range comes in handy. Look at his range! Look at his range! Oh! Oh, the corner re echelon there. in trouble. Oh, oh, I think they're gonna go down. They do. They did. They did. They did a great job. <laughs> yeah. How long they lived. They won that Volks engagement. They killed the Kubo. And uh, they capped that whole right side. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be too upset about that. Okay, PFC picking up the Rakitten now. Where's the other vehicle crew repairing? There it is. Oh no, this could be a retreat. Repeat from game one. The WC fifth one, a little oh. bit low. Rakitten moving into position for the kill. That's He's so popping bad. step He's on moving. it. Oh, that's unfortunate. And, uh, well, I think PFC may be taking the lead after that kill, honestly. Mm. 
it's one thing you have to be careful when playing in these like really high level games if somebody's staying in an engagement that's bad for them usually it's because they're trying to bait you as something right. moves into position to counter you something you have to be aware of and that's exactly what pfc was doing right there yep it's a good word of advice there if you're against someone who you know is solid and he's taking a horrible engagement you better be careful if yeah. come around it's when they're setting up those traps on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of horrible engagements, chase down cavalry rifleman looking for the wipe. And they get it. Nice. That's exactly what Vaughn needed there after losing that Jeep. Could you imagine if that mortar half track was a M5 quad? Instead, <laughs> Vaughn would be so happy. Yeah, he, he would just pop it right here and be in a great position. But, uh, you know, I have used it quite a lot against OKW, and, you know, the fact that it can't fight back against the Puma and the looks does make it a little bit less desirable, honestly. So, Very maybe, but maybe Vaughn would then go for the quad into the A half track knowing Vaughn, you know, so... Yeah, Vaughn doesn't care. <laughs> he double it up. Just a word of advice, guys. I, I find the A half track just be like a safer choice against OKW overall. That was an ambulance. Call an ambulance, Vaughn would build it. <laughs> Once that button gets highlighted, you just click. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay, so looks in production for PFC. Pack are in production for Vaughn, so he's not going for the A half track this game, which uh, could back, come back to bite him in the face of his looks. Yeah, both are evenly pop capped for the moment. Um, Vaughn's really just got the. So he could pull off that little Jeep satchel play, but it's not enough to outright kill the Luke, so gonna be difficult he's going for a quick major it looks like though he's been banking up lots of fuel but um does actually get the weapon racks so he's gonna get bazookas and bars doesn't have that much munitions to play with yeah a bit of a surprising decision that especially with so many squads low for von ivan at the moment i feel like <laughs> healing would make his squads more effective than weapon upgrades And this is where the mechanized you know strategy for OKW is so handy because you can just use those med crates in the meantime. You don't have to spend mm -hmm. a huge amount of manpower getting your healing going. Yes, very uh, efficient. Ooh. Captain looks like it's gonna die. Oh man, that's just Fine, unnecessary. I'm looking for the counter white. Get the bolts and then lose the cab. No. Oh, well, they get the satchel off. He loses the cav rifles. That was a. Uh, Big loss for Vaughn there. I think that's GG. He he, he went for the long, long route with the major rush and weapon racks, but he just lost the captain and cav rifleman, his two most valuable squads, and didn't get anything. Falschmager being dropped on the field now. It's just, yeah. Uh, this is a really rocky position for Vaughn. He's got his major ticking at the moment, but. I don't know, can he get this next 70 or so fuel in time to make a comeback with it? That's the question, it all depends on his map control over the next two minutes and... Oh! Oh, we're getting misses. <laughs> okay, Von Ivan actually going for re Echelon. Maybe he's going to go RE Bazookas to help against the looks rather than the AT gun. Interesting decision. Actually, one thing I found playing on this new version of Fameville was that anti-tank gun positioning is quite tough on that left spawn. I found it very tricky of rotating from flank to flank because of all those fences and whatnot. Yeah, it's always a little awkward. Pack how he gets a good hit there though. Forces that retreat. Vaughn is really trying to get the second fuel back, but He's gonna lose his primary from this loot and stern pile pump. Yes, a little bit closer to the mic. Okay, there was a 51 pulling back. 
and I'm just stalling out in the building, you know, just trying to minimize the impact from the Panzer II. Okay, Reish on Bazooka is in a good position here. Equal one. Bazooka's going in for another volley, but unable to in the Falschmjäger there. Oh, those two men. Okay, two men riflemen retreating, but he's going in for the wipe on them. Oh, this is trouble, and the Falschmjäger moving into position as well. Good play from PFC, looking for the kill. Can he make it home? He does. Bazooka's coming up but missed there. Bazooka's all one connecting there. Has to retreat again though. Yep, push into his base sector here. Rifleman and Rish on our solo. Pack how it connects to the loops. <laughs> yeah. It was like a perfect shot. Bazooka's could finish him here if both connect. Oh, attack round. He's gonna attack round. No. But this is what I talked about, you know, how can Vaughn hang on in those next two minutes? And he hang on enough, he's 10 fuel away from the Sherman. He just needs a tiny bit more fuel, and then he's in a really good position. Oh, he's jumping in the OC-51. There's no way he's going to chase it, he doesn't know where it is now. <laughs> and the Rakitin moving in position. And he's, it's a two-man with less than half. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's never Chris, stop Vaughn. We're getting in position. He jumps yeah. out of. And yeah, this okay. Slow crawl to 110 fuel is finally here. I could just imagine Vaughn right now just spamming the button to build the Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the magic number. And the Sherman is in production. You can see him replacing his uh, captain or cab rifle as well. He's uh, full of healthy squads. Oh, he's going oh, for no. an AT gun. Okay, I was a little bit surprised by that. I, I, do you know? I think a lieutenant would actually be a pretty good play here. Oh yeah, can't get it. I, I'm so used to having like <laughs> enough fuel for it at this point, but yeah. Okay. Can't have rifleman it is. Oh, he's calling in some artillery, Major Arty, onto the building. The PFC's awake. I like it was gonna kill it anyway. Ooh. Oh, was he awake though? <laughs> it just <laughs> takes two artillery shells to dodge them. Almost made me eat my words. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see how aggressive Vaughn plays as Sherman. Switching to HE now. Doesn't have quite enough munitions to upgrade on it. Um, Got a push going on the right with his fresh cab rifleman. Like the rifleman in the middle, taking so much damage from the same time here. He's gonna lose it to oh, the light cover on the road saving the day there. Ooh. Oh, look at the Puma just back. back Ooh, huge <laughs> shot on the Stern Pioneers. I heard a unit go down for Vaughn. Yeah, he lost, he lost the rifleman squad. On the left, to the falcon leader. Reached on getting position. Ooh, connecting with the looks. And uh, the, the game goes on. Uh, you know, it looked like one over was about to turn things around, but another loss puts him in a dangerous zone. And you know, PFC does have some counters. He's got the Puma, he's got the Raketan, so one over Sherman. Oh, oh, he's gone for an ambulance dive. Little does he know Von Ivan doesn't have an ambulance. <laughs> so that's not going to work. Man, Puma is so annoying to deal with. Oh yeah, the stuff. 50 range, the excellent line of sight, it is a real headache. It's a freaking nightmare when the good player's hands. He actually gets a rifle made off. Oh yeah. no, he cancelled it. No, no, it's, it's gone. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Okay, we're in close. There's some good damage. Oh, and Sinry grenades. Back the other way. Oh, looks going for the kill on the WC-51. Can it speed to safety? Pops a step on it. So fast. 
It is so fast. Look at that thing go. It is back to the next freaking country. Oh, they hit by the pack alley. Almost wipes breeding Volk squad. It's got a pixel of health. And now Von's got the M1, so he should be able to fend off this Puma a lot more effectively. A PFC getting his next truck out. Is he going to go for healing truck? I wonder. A capture point is being overrun. German in the south. Foshimega backpedal behind the heavy cover waiting for the support to arrive. Ooh, look at that shot. That one just went straight past the cover somehow. Wow. German in a bit of trouble though. It doesn't have the machine gun upgrade so not so good at chasing down the fools. Now he might pay for it. AT gun not rotating for Von either. He's lucky he's getting these misses and bounces on the from the Puma. Could have been down. Pretty much one hit. Look at these, uh, he's pushing up with the smoke and the jeep with the bazookas in. He's going for the attack round, I think. Oh my god. Von oh, Ivan, he's, he's a madman. He's gonna trap it. No, what is he doing? He, oh, he pulls he's back. Engaged. Oh, there's a raquette and maybe he saw it? I don't think so. There he goes with those. Oh, bazooka misses. One shot on the puma. Raquette sets really up attack, attack round. round. Attack round misses. Oh, Rakitten, Rakitten misses too. Oh, he's actually gonna get out there. Trying to escape. And so I... fortunate for that Puma to be a uh, main gun because he could have dove too. It would have been fine if he trades. While all uh, this is going on, he gets the D crew on the Howie and he's going for the salvage on it. Sherman coming to try and stop that. Oh, he gets salvage the salvage too. off, but he might pay for it. Stimpio's on retreat. Oh, missed yeah, the killing yeah. blow. And the looks on a rampage going after the bazooka RVs. They're super low. Oh, that's a huge hit for and they drop again. both the bazookas. My god, Von <laughs> Ivan. It's not his day. It's not his match. Are you serious? Both bazookas? Where's the other one? One's near the munitions. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, uh, if Von didn't lose the pack alley there, I think he'd be in an okay spot, but that pack alley was doing so much of his anti-infantry damage, that was a huge blow. Good capitalization from PFC. Yeah, it was such a tactical salvage there. He almost paid for it, but the killing blow was uh, not in Von's favor. Looks moving in. Yeah, Is he going to go for the white bomb, the cab rifles? Good first barrage. First burst. AT gun is there. Connecting. Looks in trouble. Oh, there's no way. That house is perfectly positioned. If Vaughn would have gotten his up 50 cal grade, he would have wiped those balls and his third time Yeah, I think you're right. But he's yeah, just being so strapped for munitions. He wasted it with the major already. Oh, that's true, actually. <laughs> yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> I think it's a joke if I have Vet Zero. Well, it's Vet 2 now, so... I like how he leads in with it, though. He takes the opening bullets. Pretty smart. Ooh. Shooting in the back, doing some great damage. And then comes the 76 mil Sherman. He's diving. He's going for the Puma. Misses that first shot though. Puma getting some good hits in return. Von Ivan has to pull back. Three of the raquette and too strong. And uh, very unusual to go for a 76 more Sherman, I feel. But I don't know why I said easy aid. It's like an M4C, right? <laughs> yeah. I just, just see the in the image and it looks like an easy eight. But... Yeah, very similar appearance. Easy 8 different. Easy 8's got more armor, more health. Different gun. Yeah, the M4Cs are good in number, but um They're they can get they get really good with that with the rate of fire. It's actually pretty disgusting. <laughs> but I don't think this one has the same veteran C um, as an M4C, right? Oh, oh AT gun in some trouble. Gets out of there. Have Rifleman on the Falshimega and he's not paying attention. Oh, 
when he gets the wipe, just before the machine gun gets the suppression. There we go, Von Ivan getting luck on that occasion. Von Ivan, uh, okay, he's, he's bought a new rear echelon and he's going to pick up the two drop bazookas that he dropped. <laughs> okay, he's diving in, he's going for the Puma, but there are two Rakitans somewhere on the field. Ooh, Ichi actually connects there. Smoking out. There we go. There goes the Puma, but can he get home with these two Shermans? They're in a tricky spot, second Rakitan looking for an angle, but he's behind the line of sight blocker there. He's had, having to Luke's move the Rakitan for forwards. There. Yeah, going for the looks rear armor hits and he's getting a few. Where's the M1? Where's the M1? There it is. It's it's kind of set up. Yep. It sets it's, up, it's gets the shot in. Oh Tense my god, moments. the TFC squad's getting so low. His second Rakitan's out. They're still trying to juggle. Hey, T-Gun. Oh, looks. Can he make it out? He he's does. Get trapped by the but maybe, yeah, 76 mil by the turret going the wrong direction. Here it goes. It's dead. And he lost the, uh, the, Vol the Volk squad. It's about to lose these. Uh... Oh no, he retreats. Why did he retreat? The MG was unpacking. Uh, he's just, he's like, you know, sometimes <laughs> when you win those kind of things, you're like, okay, I've, I'm in a really good position. I'll just pull back and not overplay my hand. That's true. Oh, look at PFC going for the scout. He's looking for the attack round or vision for the Raken on the. Yeah, and he does yeah. see the Sherman heading to the north, so he's going for a bit of a chase down with a major there to try and save the day. Actually, gonna get some hits on without getting shot at for once. He's going for that salty ambulance kill after losing all those. <laughs> Sherman pops the crit repair and he's out of there in a flash. Nice. He's actually building a Scott. He really wants to hammer in the uh, anti infantry. Another squad of function here coming out for PFC to help bolster his uh, losses he took. We're losing a capture point. Vaughn didn't pick up that second bazooka. It's still sitting on the munitions. Um, but yeah, he's pulled far ahead into this game now. PFC's just now getting enough for a Panzer IV and another 15 fuel. But, uh,. Bazooka Squad M1 and two Shermans are more than a match. Just gotta be careful of uh, stacked up Raketan volley. Been using his smoke really well. Hopefully the Scots can uh, get some good RNG and Gib. Gib is pretty known for that. Okay, and come. Uh... Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Just as he was talking about that. Yeah, those things are very unforgiving. Like, it's a mobile pack, Howie. Almost, it's actually kind of bigger than it. It's uh, got mm -hmm. 100 damage rather than 80, so... Emphasis on the mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better in some aspects. And they, it's been another. a while since they could get two-shotted by AT guns, not three hits, so... Definitely more survivability. Mm, they did get a uh, nerf to the auto fire rate of fire in a recent patch, but it's still very powerful. I'm not even looking for an angle. He's got the triple cap, so he doesn't need to get too aggressive here. But you know, this is what I'm even we're talking about. He's yeah. <laughs> can only play so. Twenty tame. seconds from now, his army cap, his pop cap, could be cut in half. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good hit. He saw the uh, Raken while he was retreating, so he started barraging. Nice awareness. They were punched up. Finally split up. Another M4 Sherman for Vaughn in production. He's gonna get to that critical mass where he can just run through his enemy's lines. You're a little worried about uh, clicking after. Quite much. Huh? Quiet? Yeah. Is it better now? Let me see. Well, Panzer IV hit in the field. And here we go. Loud ass engine through the fog. There we go. He's going for his first engagement with it. Bounce it. Panzer IV still chasing. Jim a little Everyone bit faster. And is Vaughn going for a flank of some sort? He is. 
trying to catch the Rakitens out of position, but good awareness from PFC rotates them in time. P4 is still going hunting for the Sherman, but there are the re-echelon bazookas down here now. <laughs> kind of lost Oh, them. here we go. Sherman coming in. Double Rakitens are there. Open up. One Ivan pulling back. That one's not on high explosive, so... Ivan uh, playing uh, conservatively. And here comes the Panzer IV. He's looking for the kill. He's going for the base here. Maybe going for the kill on the Decrude M1. No, he's going for the kill on the Sherman. Oh, he gets the ambulance on his way through. And Ivan needs to jump into the Sherman. It's Decrude. Rakitten's pushing up. Scott in trouble. Scott goes down. Almost wipes the Rakitten Sherman out. coming in on the rear. Will the Major actually get the Rakitten away? Faust connecting on the Sherman, but it's full health. He repaired it up before bringing it back into action. Re echelon go down. I'm not even looking for some revenge. But overall, a really strong raid there from PFC. Turning the game around, you know, getting so many wipes. One Ivan staying aggressive, but the Rakitten's there and he loses a Sherman in the process. Faust now, second Sherman in trouble. Von Ivan, is he going to throw the game? Here comes 76 Miller. He's gone in. Get him for the rear. I think he's on the arm piercing rounds as well. And he gets the kill. But the Rakitten's. One more shot, nice and that 76 will, will go down. The yeah, smoke making a big difference for Vaughn. PFC going to set up. Further with, his, with his engine damage, Sherman. With, that's on AP. <laughs> Let's get out of there. in trouble. Vaughn Ivan looking for the wipe. Kev Ruffman coming through the smoke. They have bars too. Oh, he gets the oh, wipe. The and now bars. the... Look at these <laughs> Rakittens. Look at them. <laughs> They're going hunting for the Shermans, but he could lose both of them here. One of them doesn't have much infantry to uh, kill them with, but he does have these cavalry of them yeah. right here. He's going all the way into base. Look at this. The Sherman out and repairing the Major, but the double machine guns in base ripping in. He's actually shooting at it. He... Uh. And he gets the D crew on both Rakittens there. So we thought Von Ivan was throwing the game, but it turns out PFC. Are you PFC. serious? Are you serious? <laughs> What an insane match that was, back and forth <laughs> till the very end. What the fuck just happened? My bad. And here we are, <laughs> very professional, for game three of this series game <laughs> four right oh game four there we go i was scolding you and look at that that's one what you up. get two one now and uh we have pfc actually switching off he played u.s forces earlier but now he's switching over to soviets yeah i like this this is great um I like that he's kind of transitioning, adapting, I guess you could say. He's wasn't pleased with his performance on Kalani, excuse me, on Kalani with USF, so he's kind of trying to trying to switch it up on Vaughn, throwing him a curveball, not wanting him to continue the download. So Vaughn is uh still committing to the same strat though. I mean it's strong either way versus I think every faction, to be honest. And yeah, that's the way Von Ivan plays. You know, he's got his strategies. He might have like two of them, but he just always goes for them, no matter what. He's not like super adaptable player, especially with his like openings. <laughs> but you know, they <laughs> they're strong true. and he and he hones them and they work. It's true. He fully commits to it. Like there's no. 50-50, he just, he's in. You know what I just noticed is PFC has partisan tactics available. It's very uh, scary. It's not the map for it though, but it's interesting. It's in his loadout. I mean, urban defense is good, um, really good. Shock rifle, of course, is a Soviet staple. It's like vodka for them, so. <laughs> 
Well, heck we go. We've got a M3 PFC. Knows he's up against the Soccer Indians, so the M3 should be very strong without the Panzerfaust. will be extremely vulnerable to this. MG pushing right to the cutoff here, getting super aggressive. And looks like the M3 is going to make a bit of a loop around, go for a bit of a flank on it. M3 is a great counter assault grenadiers when they're alone. Um, but with an MG42, okay, so he's avoided the arc. Didn't take a single burst there, which is great. That's great. So looking for some small arms damage, getting them yeah, close. They can, do, they can do good damage up close. But uh, the penals okay. definitely make it um, costly. Look at that. MG rotating twice now just to get flanked. Good, good play. And yeah, this M3 going to town, just shutting Von Ivan down so hard right now. Assault grenades. Going for the assault grenades. Ooh. Decent connection, but overall, things looking pretty strong for PFC. Maybe the switch over to Soviets is just what he needed. Your game wasn't lagging there, was it? When you threw the nades, it just slowed down completely. I don't think so. Yeah, now it's like catching up. I'm at 408 now. 9, 10. Yeah, I'm like wounded. probably like three seconds ahead of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> That's how it goes in the gym mode. Yeah, I just haven't had that that kind of lag before. I'm sorry. Um, good push again, as we noted. He's switching out his uh, penals to the engineers. He's got his flamethrowers available. Just sitting in front of the MG42 though. Back up a little bit. Machine gun pushing forwards here. A little bit risky. If he pushed forwards with the M3 there, he could very easily clear it off. Absolutely. I've been surging forwards with the blob of assault green deers there, now moving into the retreat path of that combat engineer. And Von trying to save for that mechanized assault group, but this match a little bit more slow paced than the last one, taking a little bit longer to get to two command points. Yeah, it hasn't been as, uh, there just isn't as many squads for him to attack. Like, it's just been. You know the show on the clown car but engineers getting very low fortunately the full health squad was the one in the back not the one chasing it down there we go M3 the going through yeah but the peak greens are there and that's a lot of small arms damage m3 in some Ooh, trouble it's gonna die so close to dying you might be able to cut it off if he rotates he's trying for it that oh, overdrive nice. too good Pops out the flamethrower to uh, continue the pressure. Machine gun Canceled sits up. That, uh, huh? Made him cancel that teller. Oh, Soul Group and Shock Troops out. Soul Group heavy counter to the Shock Troops. <laughs> Indeed, it's gonna get bullied off. By going for Shock Troops, it does mean he can go for some PTRSs on his penals and not feel a pinch in the anti-infantry. So sharply, however. That's true. He has selected a commander though. You know, M42 AT guns are also an option. Yes, he can almost build one now. 240. Chasing these in. Shocks went to the right side, so. Not quite yet spotted. <laughs> wow, I was just so aggressive here. You know, he just like, goes straight for the cutoff. Oh, look at the shocks coming up behind the assault grenadiers are at half health. If he doesn't retreat right away, he's gonna die. Okay. Oh man. Still gonna be a close one. Yeah, a bit of body blocking oh, there. Dead. Yeah, that's that's so dead. Nice pickup from PFC. He does go for the M42 AT gun to try and counter this 250 now. 
He's also picked up a PTRE squad, put it inside the M3. He's gone for the chase down. Nice choice. Should be a very easy counter for him. I'm backing away to base. Can he get no to the safety of the machine guns in time? PFC's still chasing down. He jumps, jumps out and he loses 250. Good raid there from PFC. Yeah, Overdrive so good at at advantage of those kind of situations. Not just for getting yourself up for picking up the wipes. And look at this, you know, PFC camps their M3 on top of the cutoff as well, just inflicting maximum damage with it. Imagine if Von Ivan killed it, you know, with that P grin earlier, but he didn't quite get it, and look at that, mm -hmm. comes back to bite him. How it usually works with, um... What, are they, what was I going to say? Consider them like really big uh, counter units. Like they have a lot of momentum behind them. Either on either side. You lose it, it's a huge deal. It's your light vehicle, you know. But if it stays alive, it pays dividends. Yeah, especially if you've got like really strong light vehicle control like these people do. You can just keep bringing it into relevant scenarios even in the late game and there's a huge thorn in your side. The shock troops looking for an opportunity here. You can see it after a retreat. Gonna be Vaughn's answer to this. He does have his battle phase two complete. He hasn't got the tech down yet, so I guess he's just gonna try stall for a medium. But he is losing so much map control right now. It's gonna be quite a while before he can get a tank. He's way behind right now. Those shock troops literally counter his whole composition oh, right now. <laughs> hits the teller. Oh. He lost. And he loses the squad. No, no, I don't think it had a squad wait, wait. actually. Oh, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, the he... guy popping out of it looked like yeah. a penal for a yeah. second. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too on first inspection, but uh, that was empty, I think. Luckily for PFC. You see floating a bit of manpower. What's going to be his next unit? That's the big question. I suppose he's, yeah, maybe he's just going to try tech up, go for tier 3. Still hasn't got tier 3, but he hasn't needed it, honestly. He's just been in such a good position with his play so far. Yeah, he doubles down on the shocks, too. He gets a second squad. He just knows, like, Ooh. they're just going to hard counter. Salt Grenadiers and PGs. He's got some G. On his 12 fuel, a minute, basically a minute away from an Oswin. And double uh, baby AT guns can can keep the Oswin at bay. Won't outright kill it if you're paying attention, but it'll make you spend a lot of time repairing. Oh, Pigmeer's managed to hold the line there. I didn't catch the beginning, but it seemed like he spent a little too much time at medium against the Panzer Grenadiers instead of closing in as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, and then Von Ivan brought up the Assault Grenadiers for some assistance. He, you know, without the Assault Grenadiers, he could have won that engagement. Yeah. Has a wedge in our Tier 3 is complete for PFC, but at this timing, you know, it's quite late to go for a T7. He might just skip on by and go straight for Tier 4. Yeah, I hope so. 12 minutes, he's 70. He sounds awful. Even though Vaughn can't really counter it right now, but he doesn't know that, so... Just makes sense, game, game sense-wise. Yeah, I think if he didn't... Oh, no, he's going for it. I was going to say, I think if he didn't go for the second squad of shocks, he would definitely go for it, but... Oh, assault grenades! Combat engineer's in trouble! No, they survived. It was pretty healthy, that last model. Yeah. PGs are really... Yeah, they committed to that. Made the penals retreat and came out not too bad. Yeah, no. Um, but three Panzer Grenadiers means some heavy bleed and a lot of micro, so... If you're not really paying attention, you can bleed pretty unnecessarily with them. 
Well, Von so Ivan did uh, like not go for the Flak Panzer as we thought he might. He's actually gone for the Panzer IV still. Two fuel away from that. And uh, in the meantime, this T-70 is going to have to get some work done. Easy dodging that bundle grenade. Easy. I only waited a second to yeah. surprise there. <laughs> T70. They've been nice and chunky. Oh, Penguin's in trouble. T70 Ooh. on the chase down. Oh, MG's not even available to help. Incendiaries. Uh, T70's getting a bit unlucky, but they're bunching up here. Yep, that's one model. He can just go Last all the one. way to base. He doesn't have to worry about the Fausts. Oh my god, I can't believe that last shot didn't get the kill. T-70 standing wow. there, Panzer IV, be still around a third no of the way off, he's, he's going around, though. ring around the Rosie. There we go, he did it the last second he possible he before he got low. wide. They're still low, Oh, they get back to two models again. <laughs> <laughs> T-70. Panzer IV is almost out now. There's another squad of P-Greens back <laughs> here though, they're low as well. But here comes the Panzer IV. Oh, he's coming in from the wrong spawn point, though. No, he didn't set his uh, rally point properly. And P PFC could have hit this through the point. fog. He's crushing all these trees. Yeah. And he's getting yeah. out of there with the T-70 in time. Close call for Von Ivan. Like, I can't believe the T-70 didn't get that squad of P-Greens. Uh, and Von was lagging on the uh, ring around the Rosie on the first squad. It was so close to getting hit. Okay, now Von looking to get aggressive right off the bat. He's got to be careful, you know, that Mini AT gun does have decent enough penetration against medium armor. And there's a squad with the sticky satchels available as well. Oh, he's upgrading the second penal with them. So there you go, he's going to have uh, quite a lot of light AT running around. He's joining in, but yeah, the shock troops just too strong. Hands are heading up that direction now. Ooh. After a good start. Oh, yep. oh, here comes the squad. He's getting too close. Sticky satchel incoming. Oh. oh. And the baby AT gun's moving up too. Oh, he's moving towards the shocks though. Yeah, he's trying to Not get the kill time. with the <laughs> satchel. But this could end up costing him his tank. Where are the squads? The Pegreens coming from base, but they're a little bit behind. Can Von Ivan save his Panzer IV? In comes the Mini AT gun. He's going up. He's going around the corner rather than try and deal with the Penals. But the Penals close to their next sticky satchel. He's cornering yeah. himself up here. Yeah, there's no way he gets out of here. Oh, he's going for there's a... There's no exit. Yeah, he's going for a weird path behind this tree line shot blocker thing. I don't think I've ever seen this be relevant in a match so far. <laughs> but Von Ivan making use of it here. Oh, but nice attack round. And Ooh, down goes the Panzer Very four. nice. Almost actually salvaged the situation with the PGs, but shots are also nearby. Nicely played by PFC. Grenade. Von Ivan trying to bait the T-70 over this telemine right here. Wow, uh, I didn't greens. even realize he planted one so deeply. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna go for the retreat over It's been there for a retreat. long time. Oh my god. The oh, is he gonna detonate over the squad? Ooh. Skates around the side and now shock troops in the retreat path. I don't know. I don't think these guys will make it home. Straight to the moor. Or is I'm this gonna be Vaughn another Von Ivan miracle? T-70 missing every shot. Every shot missing. <laughs> but the problem is Vaughn doesn't have any anti-tank. He's got no pack, oh no shrieks. Repeat from earlier. <laughs> How are we in this exact same scenario again? I feel a little bad for him there, but he could have done um, stop and shoot. Wouldn't have, It would have meant he would have got less tries at killing him, but... It's going to settle chance. for the machine gun, going to get the D crew on. No, he reinforces just in the nick of time, but this is bleeding Von like crazy. I'm just trying to stall out. 
Maybe at least kill the uh, medical uh, bunker while he's there. There's literally no counter for the T7 right now. And you uh, can kill the med ooh, med Oh bunker. man, the Pigreen's got the uh, Flamer on retreat. I thought he, they got away, but they didn't. So, Von nice. picking up a kill there. That's but okay. T34 on the field for PFC is going to try to keep up the pressure. And I think Von's saving for the Stug, but that could very easily get out positioned and uh, killed. So, he's in a dangerous scenario. Oh my god, the T70 is so close to the teller again! <laughs> if one over just made that a millimeter to the right. And this one may not be so lucky. Oh my god, this T- I can't believe this T70 missing every shot! Again! Again! Stop! Oh, there we go. There we go, he stopped. <laughs> And there we go, Vaughn going for a Dane shoots. Did he lose his assault grenades there on uh Yes to, to the some S mines? Is there some S mines there? Oh I'm not sure what that was. No, T34 killed it. They're right there in the middle. They were fighting with the penals and the T thirty four killed it. I thought there was a oh, these dead shocks that hold a few. Standing by. That's alright. Well, oh, here we go. This is Von Ivan's last hope. The Stug. Can he turn the great game around with this? He's going to need to be just super careful with his positioning on it. With no snares, no shreks. This thing, if he gets out positioned, he is done for. PC trying to put down some mines as well. Caught in the act, Von Ivan with no sweeper, so he is vulnerable to that. He's gone for another squad of pyres now. Mm. Full push in the south for Von. T34 coming in, looking for the flank on the Stug. He's gonna find it. Stug rotating quickly. Getting a shot in there. Ooh. Attack rounds through the trees. Look at the baby ET gun just walking to two pads of Yeah, it gets wiped straight away, but in comes the T70 from the other angle. Stug can't cover both options. You see, taking full advantage of that grenade. Ooh. Big boy grenade there. Oh man. Stug in some trouble. Getting low. Assault grenades back the other oh. way in the shocks. Shocks super low. Vet 3. Vet 3 PGs go down. We're gonna come into the T70. But yeah, I think Vaughn wants after. to get the steel on the AT gun and he goes for it. Oh, it's so risky. Penals are there though. Stug can't get too aggressive. And the T70 ripping in to the mini AT gun. Gets the D crew. He's actually fighting me. I mean, it was, it was very unlikely got up there safely, but yeah. I think Vaughn was banking on the T70 playing a little bit more defensively, pulling back in the face of the Stug, but PFC, knowing his position there, stays on the offense and maintains control of his M42. Look at this T70 now, Vet 3. It is so powerful, he's just shredding the infantry of Vaughn. Stug, yeah, has to mobilize to try and counter this. I wonder if Vaughn would just consider going for tier 2, getting an AT gun. I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> oh, machine gun gets decrewed in base, T70 pulling back. Stug on the chase down, oh, T70 gets caught. Oh my god, spinning around and it goes uh, down. The enemy has destroyed one of our vehicles. Oh look at that nade. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, well that's a start for Von Ivan taking down that T70. That thing was doing so much damage. And PFC was actually going for a second T34, but he cancels it, switches off to C85, and that should be able to tame the Strug nicely. Enemy forces are 
capturing our supplies. Well, I'm building another machine gun. He's got one decrypt in base. He's going to have three of them. That's crazy. There's two shocks. T-34. S-285 for PFC. Does not elect to go for a KV-2. Fair enough. Oh, just right there. Oh boy. Oh, that is a beating it's taking. SU-85 could go for the chase down. Attack rounds. Can, oh. He could just go for the kill here if he gets the Stug. That's the game. Oh! SU-85 just crushed the whole squad of Assault Grandies. Are you serious? I, that never happens. I've <laughs> never seen that before. And SU-85 just full disrespect here. Coming into the base. Going for the med bunker. I'm not even too. Yeah, stood cowering in the corner. I think we're gonna see an ace game, Mr. Mr. Rope. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> that's what we're hoping two, three, for. Stug uh, mobilizing, one Ivan getting into action. Oh, but the East 85 is there. It's coming in on the rear. That's dead. <laughs> And that should be the game. Oh, no, he wipes the squad of combat engineers with the flamer again. He's doing some good work on the infantry. Shock troops on retreat as well, super low. Is he really going to get there? Oh, they make it home. <laughs> <laughs> and Von Ivan, you know, reasonably close to another Stug, but. I don't know, I don't I just don't think he can make this comeback still. Mm. Machine gun in trouble. T34 there, but it's on prioritized vehicles. No now he switches it off. T34 on a rampage here. PFC going for another T34, he's not gonna Oh! We are <laughs> Well, mine triggers and uh, does engine damage to the T-34 as well. But that's the squad down for Vaughn. Yeah, I don't think Vaughn liked that trade. <laughs> he trades. Yo. <laughs> Three mediums for PFC. The calm before the final final engagement. Vaughn going for his ace in the hole, dang to shoot. But yeah, MQ three fours, double PTRS, S85, M42. It's a favorite. Here we go, Stug in the south. Square off against the vetted T34 first. This is the second shot, and T-34 connects. I think that was just a scatter shot. s 5 rotating around, getting some connections. Stug returning fire, s 5 missing. s 5 going for the chase down into base once again. And come the T-34s now from the other angle. Stug connecting. s 5 missing, oh boy. Stug connecting again. Can well, this Stug work the miracle? Fire. It does against the SU-85, <laughs> but in come the T-34s on the rear. Chasing them, they're chasing them. He pops the blind. Are you serious? How did he bounce that? Oh my god, the Stug, can it work the miracle with one Ivan needs? No! no way. Okay. About to say, that would have been pretty... Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, it gets abandoned, gets destroyed. And Ivan working hard on every other angle of the map though, he's got a good chunk of territory under control. Maybe he's gonna try stay save for another Stug. Can he turn this game around though? Double T34 is inflicting a lot of damage. Dodge on the grenade from Vaughn in the north. Here comes the T-34 into the retreat path, though. Nice. 
catch on the bundle nade. Almost ran into it, but um, stopped himself just short. Machine gun making her way in the south from the shock troops. T-34 still on the chase down for the Panzer Grandiers. And Von Ivan has, you know, he's got no counter to this. He's got nothing to stop PFC running right into his base. And PFC's going to do this again. Now we got to see the same thing, but this time with the T-34. Oh, he gets a good shot. Pegrin's super low. That's, yeah, what... I think Vaughn can finally uh, go on the towel. PFC could go for the kill on the support armor core and just yeah. deny Von Ivan the chance to get a Stug. And it's probably actually a small idea, honestly. But no, Stug in production. PFC forcing a whole bunch of retreats and no, Von Ivan does end up throwing in the towel there. There we well, go. Yep. So uh, the score is well tied played. up two games apiece, and we're going to go into the deciding match for this exciting series. And uh, I'm not personally sure who's got the VP lead, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned for the conclusion of this best of five. So here we are for the deciding match, game five of this round of 16 for the World Championships. And we have Von Ivan spawning in the south, playing his US forces, and the map is going to be Crossroads. And in the north we have Private First Class, aka PFC. He is uh, rocking his OKW to the very end in our ace game. He's got his uh, standard build build order here, Volks Grenadier Kubel. Um, has been doing pretty well to counter Vaughn's strategy with Mechanized, his double Jeep, and he's looking to take take the win for uh, for Korea, South Korea. Yeah, that's a good point. And look at this capping order from Vaughn right out the gate. Goes for the munitions point immediately. Knows he really needs those 50 cows. Mm -hmm. To uh, make these WC-51s count. And once again, PFC going on the offensive. Kubel wagon straight over to the other side of the map. Hunting down the WC-51s before they get that up guy. Yeah, it makes total sense. You just look for that red highlighting... Uh... Uh, indicator on the mini map to cap thing if you don't hear the engine it's always going to be that pushed up unit so takes the fight i like the aggressiveness makes total sense i'm going to make it into heavy cover there Google coming around yep. looking for a push i think yep or just a facial with the <laughs> yeah. cannon ignoring the cover so he's truly just fucked wherever he goes <laughs> One engagement is not going to have cover. Yeah. Well, very early uh, mine going down for PFC on top of his fuel point. Interesting attempt to counter these dosi 51s This one's upgrading with the 50 cal that's on top of the cutoff, trying to prevent it getting decaptured, but not going to be able to. And look at this, Von Ivan's second WC-51 going for a cutoff of its own, but it's got no upgun. That's a little bit risky. Yeah, you must be really careful. There we go, he's reversing now. Bond forced to wait for the upgrade. Can't repair without canceling. It's gonna take it in. Take it in. On. Oh, and here we oh, go. Dosi 51 chasing down the Kubo and he gets it immediately. Nice. This Volk is pretty low too. He doesn't get stuck on the wreck. <laughs> oh, stuck on the wreck. <laughs> you, see, you, you had to say it, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, but maybe this mine's going to come cool, into but... effect here. Vaughn making a play for PFC's fuel. Oh, that that's a juicy mine. Is it oh. a? It's not a one hit, right? At full health, but at uh, this health, I think is... it is actually. I think it's got two hundred health. Ooh. Or has it got so two forty? I think, I think it's two hundred. Well, he's going to take some damage from the stern pioneers anyway. These are already yep. down to three dudes, so. Ooh. And that. Unfortunately, the angle he came out made it so Vaughn has to go this way. So, yeah, mine won't be uh, 
blowing up any jeeps today. At least for the moment. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> There's one thing that, you know, Von Ivan has to spend all of his early munitions on those double 50 cal, so he doesn't get sweepers until quite late, so those mines can be potent. And I think PFC here getting the raquette in one squad earlier than last uh, the last two games. I think that this is our third unit. He produces. Love once again going for captain, not altering his strategy one bit. Let's see if Vaughn can not get baited by a hook chain again. Yeah, I mean every game so far he's just lost one straight away. Yeah, as we were saying, you know, when someone stops like that and is taking manpower bleed for nothing, you can bet there's something lurking around. So, yeah, and uh, Von Ivan's Spidey sense is tingling this time, gets out of there before that Rakidin gets a shot off. Spidey sense. <laughs> is our captain for, uh, for Vaughn, along with the Cav Rifleman at the same time, floated up. Pretty good combination to hit the field. Huge power spike. Plays it well, keeps both jeeps alive, hopefully. It's, this map is just so good for jeeps. There's just oh. so many areas you can harass. It's actually yeah. quite annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty open. One of the most open maps in the pool these days. You can make really good use of the excellent line of sight those WC-51s have, as well as the excellent range. Bombs backing up. Oh Senses the Raketten lurking. Yeah, Walked over the cap point too. Cross. I'm pulling back, doing capping with WC-51 on the other side. Once again, narrowly avoiding that mine with his captain. And making a dive onto the cutoff here with the freshly built cav rifles. Yep, and they just got their Thompsons. This is going so much better for Von Ivan this game. Probably his best start so far with US forces. Cutoff is just so nice and open. Everything's just so nice and open for the Jeep. Ooh. Can get one shot off, but WC-51 will survive. Falcons trying to hold the line here, but that's too much firepower. Kitten switching sides, coming for the second dose of 51, but in the meantime, seeing some good damage and forcing back the stern pioneers. This is a great delay on the fuel. He's getting his SWS up, but looks like we won't see a Luke's till like eight and a half minutes. Oh, I've been speeding away it. there. Look at how fast that thing is. This is just. <laughs> It's, it's comical. It's actually quite stupid, to be honest. Like, yeah. it's, just, it's just ridiculous. Remember that clip of him satcheling the Puma on Kaladni and it blows up the MG? That's all from Step On It. <laughs> yeah. Rakitin trying to find an angle on the second OC-51, but the rear echelons are there zoning it out. And look at this. Look at Von Ivan's army size. So much larger than PFC at this stage. Yeah. More than 10 pop cards. There we go. You see uh, one fuel away from the looks. Can that thing turn this game around? Oh, I've just got so much fuel though. A little delay on the Panzer II. He's not building. There we go. Every second matters. Yeah, especially when you're behind. Oh, we're getting in some trouble. Kavrafman right on top of it. Oh, I'm not going for the chase. No, I'm going for the rest of the infantry. Trying to force them away. Good choice. Two pioneers. Oh, they're just shredding though. Don't drop any models. And now making short sure work of the riflemen following that up. Some rifle get into the retreat path, almost getting yep. the wipe on these box screen deers, but not quite. See if Vaughn goes for like a steward or something. Oh, hits the mines and die. Oh, Stern Pine is chasing them down. Von Ivan not reacting, and he loses the WC-51 there. And what is Vaughn doing? He's stepping on it to the other side. It's going for the Stern Pies, I think. 
Look out! <laughs> Down the road as well! My gosh, so silly. He did get to salvage the, the WC51 that died, which is cool. Got basically his fuel income for the minute right there. <laughs> Indeed. Now let's see what he can do with his looks. He's bringing in close rifleman, a little bit late to retreat, but he's a little bit late to chase following that up. This is our first um, paratrooper squad. Jaeger. Is he going to go for the full chase down here? No, there's a couple of squads moving in with the threat of the sneer. Can't chase the base. Is he actually get this actual? So close. Though. So close to range. Goes back just in the nick of time. Falschenjäger dropped in on the fuel. Looks trying to inflict as much damage as he can. This is a crucial moment for PFC before Von Ivan gets his medium tank. Han is so close to a Sherman, I just realized. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's yeah. like 30 seconds away from building. That's like the old school Sherman rush. Remember in good old days, you go through Rifleman, LT, M20, and then straight to Major Sherman. You yeah. have a Sherman at like the 10 minute mark. Bit of a throwback. Yeah, and that was back when OKW had a Lukes in tier 4. So they would get the Lukes at the 10 minute mark, and then there's a freaking Sherman on the... <laughs> Oh, they just wouldn't get the looks, right? They just go for the yeah. pans every time. Yeah. There you go, the uh, rifles. The Von Ivan uh, in a pretty good position, picking up some bazookas on his rear echelon, a couple bars as well. He's in the driver's seat, and there we go, starting the Sherman in production now. So, this is looking excellent for Von Ivan. It's the Uncle Sam industry right there. That might. Factory is working overtime. Catches him building that shoe mine in the middle of VP and just uh, forces him to get off of it. Maybe he'll finish it later. Doesn't they didn't cancel it right away, like you usually see. Playing some uh, back and forth here outside of Von Spawn. Luke's keeps engaging and re-engaging. Staying out of range for the satchel. Bazooka's now ready to be boarded upon the party jeep. Oh, he's waiting for another bazooka. Yeah, he just got it. Up to double bazookas. Going through the middle with the Raketan. Should be able to spot that. Hopefully he doesn't get baited. Sherman is also out. I think he's going to go for some kind of all-in push now to Sherman. Yep, if, he, he... if he saw that Raketan, like, he is free to go everywhere else. And, uh, PFC could build a Puma now, but it wouldn't be out in time to help him here. Here comes the Sherman, looking for the looks. Raketan is there. Sherman connects first shot. Raketan sets up and misses. Bazooka's also coming in, looking for a flank. Sherman pulls back, allowing the Bazookas to finish the job. Sherman focusing on the Raketan. <laughs> Down goes the looks. He switched to AT as well. Oh my oh, god. Huge what, hit. what an assault from Von Ivan here. He's going for the kill on the Rakid and if he can get this, that might be the game. Oh. Boomer coming in though. I don't know, it's yep. in production. And it oh, goes for the recrew. Have rifles in the retreat. Bring in smoke, wipe that but the AT nice hit. is the wipe. And in the almost south, out, Fox Green is super low, could go down. I think PFC is going to go in here on the on the pickup. He's going to try to pick up the Sherman. Pop out behind the house. No, it's still in front. It's in Ooh, open. Cat Rifleman's still here, though. He didn't retreat. He could get the satchel. He could get the satchel. He's going around. Okay. PFC doesn't get greedy. And now he's going around. Bond Sherman already repaired. repaired up a decent amount and pro probably take on the boom from this man. So. What a uh, series of events, and also one functioning I thought it made it home there, but somehow got wiped at max range, so PFC really hurting after that series of events. It's down to a kitten, down to looks, down to squads, he's down in the dumps. Yeah, it's looking horrendous for him. Riflemen are getting barred up now, so usually when it starts snowballing out of control, 
Can't be down squads versus barred rifles. And the Luke's was his main anti-infantry there. That's dead. <laughs> Still got his party jeep, so that's always a problem. Yeah, it's got a good counter to the to the poop. Oh, maybe not for long. No, Rakit moving in. Puma has to pull back. Can connects. Puma gets a cheeky shot on the Sherman on the exit. And Cam Rifleman charging forwards. They got both the Thompsons and a bar, so they are lethal against infantry right now. We're losing a capture point. Man, those two Jeeps really set him up to get the double fuel. He just had so much better map control. It was crazy how fast he got the Sherman out. Mm -hmm. Look at these falls, though. They're they're so low. Chasing him down. Is he actually going to get it? Stop chasing. It might have allowed him to get away because of it. Oh, the Sherman. Going to town on this infantry, though. There's Von Ivan's Rekidnoik. It's forced away, so he pulls back. Just playing it cautiously. Doesn't need to... <laughs> we don't need to see a throw in this game. He's so far ahead right now. Okay, Von Ivan going for the pack alley now. Interesting, goes for that in production first over the second Sherman. Maybe he's going for a M4C for 76mm. Trying to diversify. Yep. What is that, like 130 fuel, 125? Yeah, I think it's 125 these days. Oh, Sherman coming in with the smoke, but the Rakitin is right there. Oh, a huge hit on the Stern Pioneers repairing, oh. and the bazookas come behind the Puma. It's going to clean Main up. gun crit on the Sherman, though. It's in trouble. Rakitin looking for some attack rounds. Unable. Oh, you retargeted. Bazookas. Go down. Oh, my God. He actually gets away with the Puma. And the okay. freaking Sherman almost died. Re echelon. They lost the three repair. models in the vehicle death and they go down on retreat. And Von Ivan, what's he trying to do here? Repair he, critical. He got oh, it. Oh, but he repaired oh, critical. But he got the main gun crit. Yeah, not main the gun crit. Damage. Exactly. <laughs> He's going to get. Oh, he doesn't have enough for even one thousand. I think he needs the Puma. Two here for and the comes kill. the Puma. RNG, RNG. Yeah, needs one more shot in here. Where's the raquette for Von? Oh, Puma misses. Oh, and he drops a bar too. Oh he boy. Are you serious? Out of control! Oh, out of control out of kill! Control. Oh my god! Are you oh, serious? what a disaster for PFC. Oh my god. Out of control is so stupid. He was right on the cusp. He was right on the cusp. And then the out of control robs him of that comeback. Man, so that energy that the Vaughn fans gave him actually did something. Yeah, exactly. Did you, see, did you see that? Honestly, that is the. I mean, it's hilarious to watch that. But yeah. if I were I were PFC, I think I'd need a new keyboard. Yeah, that's a rage-inducing <laughs> moment, especially in a high-stakes <laughs> tournament like this. Ten thousand dollars and uh, out of control. There you go. Like, the just the sh the shittiest part about it is like. You're making that calculated decision to engage the Sherman there at, at one hit and you're stopping, backing up, taking your time with the shots, making sure you're at max range and you just get punished even though you made the right right play. But that's the game sometimes, so you got to take it both ways. Oh, look at this. PFC getting aggressive, going hunting for the Sherman in the corner, bringing the Rakitin and the Puma over. looking for it he's looking for it Von Ivan doesn't even bazookas and support anymore so it is vulnerable and there we go misses its first shot oh no Sherman gets Ooh, a shot in yeah oh Puma missing all the shots Von Ivan gets away safely 
Oh, folks are getting in trouble. You see, still got some fire really looking for blood. Yeah. He's going for the base, but the Rakitten is here. Yeah. Risky What's stuff. funny is it's a Rakitten crewed by a cav rifle, so. <laughs> yeah. Gotta be a little careful getting close to them. They have their Thompsons. Uh, grease, grease guns, right? I don't think they've got No, Thompsons. you're right, grease guns. Yeah, they don't keep that. Too. But still. Yeah, I mean, than, uh, yeah. <laughs> he thought I was using them as a combat squad just before near the cutoff. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Major looking for a kill here with the bar, but the squad does make it home. But he is bringing up the squad with the threat of a snare pool getting a little bit too close. He's gonna eat the snare. Pops the smoke, but it's too the late. Smoke way too late. Let's see, Sherman is still. Okay, it's repaired now, he's just taking a while. Is he gonna go for the base assault for it though? Go for the dive just like PSC does. Certain powers are retreating too, I think. Okay. Ken's too far behind. He's already dipped around. Still, it gives Vaughn more time to knock down more VPs and further his uh, resource lead. Yeah, and he's picked up the second Sherman now, so he's in a really good position. And a second Puma coming in for PFC. I think that's actually a smart idea. Yeah, it's all or nothing at this point. There, he's not going to see much more fuel in this game. There's no holding out. There's no tier four. There's no call in. So there's only only a logical option is to play heavy mechanite. Let's see if he can uh, get the job done. Man, that mage up to V3 already using the uh, passive sprint to run around capping up the map. Nice to see. Sprint is so useful on the officers. Mm. Backpedaling for Vaughn. Ooh, nice pack how he shot. Half health, the squad has to retreat, and that's costly because he doesn't have his tech down, has to get med crates for that, and he doesn't have any back in base even. Oh, look at this Rakan, perfectly positioned. Once he spots it, it's gonna. There's no sight right, of the boomer. Yeah. Rakan coming around the corner for PFC, mm -hmm. and Von uh, Ivan's Rakan forced away. Getting some good long range hits in, but the infantry putting pressure on PFC's Rakitten. 76 more going in. To go around, but the Major is doing some work now. Here comes the second Puma. Engine damage on the Puma. Sir, second oh, Sherman coming in. Bounces. Gets it. Ooh, Sherman down, but it's abandoned. Abandoned. Out of Se control. Second Sherman going in for the second Puma. Here we go, Vaughn closing it out, I think, here, unless he gets extremely... Yep. Well, there's a bandit out there still, have to remember. Not... Yep. PFC, uh... Chops a major already. Oh, PFC throws it in. Then, maybe he didn't see that I got abandoned. Because he could have, he could have still gotten that. Yeah, Stoompine is right next to it. Mm-hmm. It's bit surprising, but, uh, you know, Von Ivan was pretty firmly in the lead. But man, what a series. Von Ivan taking a convincing win in the ace game. What a series this was. This Von Ivan just, you know, showing his strength as a tournament player. playing so many, and he just clinches it out here at the end. Yeah, great, entertaining set. I'm happy both players um, played so well and gave us five games to cast. Very awesome. Much better than um, with, like, a quick in you know blowout games those were back and forth yep. so appreciate that guys and uh well played by both but vaughn does ultimately ultimately advance as our north american hero so we wish him wish him the best in his next game which is neck which is tomorrow right they're not going I don't know the scheduling that well. I know it's round of 16. I guess they're playing quarter finals tomorrow. And then semis and finals after that. The other weekend. Yeah, so yeah, it's this quarter finals tomorrow, which we will be covering. Mm -hmm. And then uh yeah, semi finals next weekend, which we will not be covering. All of that's gonna be done 
live from the studio, 80 hertz with uh, oh, AE yeah. and Stormless. 